Another crisis happening in the world, one we reported on last fall, involves Joseph Kony and a violent military group in Uganda. We've seen messages on our Facebook page about this. I've gotten tweets from some of you about Kony. Relisa Vasilova has this report on the viral video that has made Kony a household name on social media. For 26 years, Kony has been kidnapping children into his rebel group, the LRA. A 30-minute video gone viral online has achieved what policymakers and activists have failed to do, make more people care about the atrocities of a bizarre cult called the Lord's Resistance Army, or LRA, seeking to overthrow the Ugandan government. Produced by a nonprofit group called Invisible Children to create momentum for the capture of its leader, warlord Joseph Kony, the documentary has gone viral. Tens of millions have seen it, including celebrities like Rihanna and George Clooney. And donations have been pouring in. The beauty of Kony 2012 is it starts at the movie. The movie is the entry point to a mission, and the mission involves influencing our policymakers, influence our culture makers, so they can take the steps on the ground from disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration of all of the LRA fighters. But Kony 2012 has also generated controversy for its simplistic presentation. If you're not interested in the geographies and the complexity of, us, of it, to know that it's not black and white, to delve into that the fact that you can't glamorize this stuff, then I think you have no business in, in, in maybe being mm. a change maker. The war is over in northern Uganda. Kony soldiers, now a depleted force, have fled to Sudan and Central African Republic, but they still hold children captive. 